Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Jake from todaysiphone.com, and I am with Mac OS X Lion, and I just want to show you some of the biggest new features in the latest iteration of Apple's operating system. Now, for those that don't know, Mac OS X Lion came out today, July 20th, and the big thing about it is that it seems to be taking a lot of inspiration from the iOS operating system. You know, we have a lot of gesture-based controls and a lot of visually-based menu items, and uh, it just definitely seems to be taking its cues from Apple's mobile devices. Now, if we go over to the system preferences, we can go into the trackpad option, and I can show you some of the awesome new gesture features. If you, you can see up here at the top, we have three options, post and click, scroll and zoom, and more gestures. Uh, real quick, in scroll and zoom, I just want to let you guys know, uh, the sc default scrolling option in OS X Lion seems to be confusing a lot of people. Uh, it's set up the way that iOS is set up, where if you want to scroll up, you take the things on the screen and you drag them up, as opposed to what was in Snow Leopard, where if you wanted to scroll down, you would move your fingers down the mouse pad. Um, you can easily turn this on and off just by checking that box, but uh, let's take a look at the More Gestures menu. Now, in this menu, there are a couple of different things. Right now, we are looking at the Swipe Between Pages option, and uh, this is the option that lets you swipe right and left with three or two fingers, and this lets you control backward and forward pages in Safari and in System Preferences and, and a number of other applications. Uh, as you can see, I was going back and forth before, and doing that, I was just swiping my fingers left and right. Uh, now, in the, here, we have Swipe Between Full Screen Apps. Now, this is really cool because it lets you swipe between spaces and full screen applications, and this is something that was not available in Snow Leopard. Uh, let's just see. I'm going to open up a full screen application to give you guys a little uh, hint of what this is like. So here's iTunes. I have it set to be full screen, which means that there's really no desktop or anything behind it. It's just a full screen application in its own space. So the ability to be able to swipe between these full screen applications as opposed to having to navigate to something like Mission Control to uh, go in between them is definitely a welcome plus. Now, as you can see, I'm just swiping left. Uh, let's go back to System Preferences. And the next option available is called Mission Control. Now, there are only two options available for this. You can either swipe up with three fingers or four fingers. I have it set to four, so I'm just going to swipe up with four fingers. And this brings up Mission Control. Now, this is a space in Lion that's basically an aggregation of expose and spaces. Now, what's great about this is that not only can you see the open windows on your current window, but you can see everything that's open on all of your spaces. So let me just open a couple Safari windows to give you guys a quick demo of this. Uh, now, as you can see, I have three separate Safari windows open in addition to system preferences behind them. Uh, so I'm just going to swipe up into Mission Control. And now, as you can see, I have all of my windows laid out in front of me. I have my system preferences, I have Safari, and then up top here, I have all of my spaces and my full screen apps. Now this works just like Spaces did, where you can take a window and drag it to a different space. Uh, something new is that you can now drag it to a little plus sign to make a new space, but I don't want that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Now, as I said before, there are a couple different ways to access Mission Control. You can obviously use a gesture, but you can also set a hot corner to activate it. I have top right, as you can see. And then there's also a third option of the icon in the dock. Now, you may have noticed in Mission Control that I have separate wallpapers for each of my separate spaces. Uh, this is another new feature in Mac OS X Lion. Now, this is super easy to set up. All you have to do is go to a space that you want to change and click on Change Desktop Background. Uh, each background is individually set. What's more, you can have up to 18 separate spaces and each one with a completely individual background. And uh, this is going to help you organize and keep things a little more separate. All right, now the next thing I want to show you guys is something called Launchpad. Now, as you'll see, this really takes a lot of inspiration from iOS. And uh, all you have to do is pinch three fingers and your thumb together on the trackpad to bring it up. And you get a full iOS style list of all your applications. Now, everything you've come to know and love with this setup stands. You can swipe back and forth to change pages. You can have folders. And you can even click and hold on an icon to have it wiggle and rearrange it. And the last gesture I want to show you guys is something called Show Desktop. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, to access it, you do the opposite of your launchpad gesture. So it's three fingers and your thumb on the trackpad pinching out. And as you can see, it just 
puts all the windows to the side and brings up your desktop. Just pinch back in again to bring them back. And it's really that simple. Okay, so now let's get out of Safari. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to stay in Safari and show you guys the little full screen applications. Now, I talked a bit about this when I was showing you the gesture for it, but just to do a quick overview, any application that's compatible with full screen will have this icon up in the right hand corner. And to activate full screen, all you have to do is click it. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't really cover up any desktop or windows in the background. Instead, when you make an application full screen, it makes a new space just for that app. So you can see I'm swiping out of it and then back into it, and it's just the application. If we go into Mission Control, you can see I have two open full screen applications on the right, and then my space is below. And here we have the other windows in Safari that I did not full screen. Now, full screen is already compatible with Safari, iTunes, iPhoto, the mail application, and I'm sure a ton of other developers will build it into their apps because it really is a great way to interact with what's on your screen. In fact, in a lot of ways, it mimics how you use the internet on an iPad, where it's just the internet up, there's nothing else distracting you and nothing else around. And I think that it's clear that Apple is really trying to take some of the best aspects of iOS and add it to their operating system. And finally, I want to take a quick look at the Mac App Store. Now, I know this is nothing new and everybody's already seen it before, but I feel it's worth mentioning only because it is, right now, the only way to download Mac OS X Lion. In August, Apple is going to be releasing a thumb drive with OS X Lion on it, available for $70 online. But the uh, way through the Mac App Store is definitely the cheapest way and the fastest and easiest, in my opinion. Now, what's more, this isn't just a place to get Lion. It's also your only place to find uh, software like Final Cut Pro X or Aperture or iWork or iLife or any of those softwares that used to come on a disc in Apple stores. According to an announcement today, Apple will no longer offer the physical discs. Instead, it's just going to be all digital downloads like this. Now, I can't say I'm too surprised by this. I mean, Apple's had great success with the distribution model in the iOS app store, so it only makes sense that they would want to adopt a similar method with the Mac app store. Now, I just wanted to point this out and show you guys that you'd probably be spending a lot more time here than you used to. Well, that's all I have to show you this time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you haven't already upgraded to Lion and you want to, you can head over to the Mac App Store now and download it for $30, or if you don't like the digital version, you can hold out for the thumb drive, which should be available online at apple.com for $70 in August. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about Lion or anything else for that matter, you can let me know in the comments section down below or send me a tweet at twitter.com slash tipjake. And as always, make sure to stay tuned to todaysiphone.com for more news, views, and reviews.